have a confession to make. I am a romantic at heart. But considering that not even some of the characters in my favorite love story live long enough to put their love through the test of time, there isn't much to hope for. But I hope some of the couples at the Parkay home can restore my faith in love. Rita, how long have you guys been married now? We've been married 60 years last year, the 5th of September. And uh, we actually met uh, at the Volkspieler. And uh, he was on his way to the Belgian Congo. But when he met me, he decided to stay. And he never went back. Later, we got married. The latest signs reveal that you can avoid falling out of love. Many people are still in love with their partners after many decades. What would you say are the secrets to a long-lasting love? You've got to uh, uh, take each other into consideration. And uh, you've got to give and take. And do you have any tips for young couples? When they have problems, they mustn't just run away from it. They must discuss it. They must be open to each other. You've got to talk it out. Don't keep it in and... No, don't bottle it up. Yeah. In 1954, Gertie and Gus Cousins tied the knot at the Trinity Methodist Church, followed by an exuberantly romantic reception in the Clarendon Hall in Bloemfontein, and so started their happily ever after. Mr. and Mrs. Cousins, how long have you been married now? 60 years. 27th of March. And how did you meet? I used to take my dirty washing to the laundry and she was a bookkeeper there. And then we started clicking. And what words of advice do you have for young couples to make their love last? Never be cross with each other and go to bed being cross. Make peace and Apologize, it costs you nothing to, even though it might be not so easy. Sadly, Gertie passed away recently, yet their love left a legacy of four children and ten grandkids and two great grandchildren. Well, it seems that after an incredible 60 years of marriage, the lessons to love are simple. There are always two people in a relationship, and as long as you put the other person first, your love will prosper. And remember, for all those hard times, never go to bed angry with one another. Hmm. Now, I think I'm about ready to fall in love again.